Oh, right. I'm going to show you how the Roman Catholic priesthood contradicts scripture. Because Roman Catholicism is nothing more than just pagan Roman religion repackaged, masquerading as Christianity. So a lot of what they do contradicts what the Bible says. It's funny because they claim, oh, we gave you the Bible. Really? And so if the Bible is a Catholic book, why does so much of their practices contradict the Bible? Interesting. But well, I'm going to read to you from the Bible, what are the qualifications for a bishop, for a teacher, an overseer of the flock, according to Paul? And this is what he wrote in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse number 1 to 4. This is a true saying, if a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. A bishop must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, apt, or given the hospitality, apt to teach, not to give into wine, nor no striker, no greedy, no filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not a one that ruleth well in his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. Hmm. The husband of one wife? Hmm. Kind of makes a problem right there because the Catholic Church says that priests have to be celibate and can't be married. Hmm. Kind of a problem there if you're a Roman Catholic. Because if you supposedly gave us the Bible, why does the Bible say the bishop is and I'm quoting directly from the Bible, the husband of one wife. The bishops have to be married. The overseers have to be married. But the Catholic priest can't be married. You have a contradiction there. Roman Catholicism contradicts the Bible. Let's go to some another verse. It's, go, it's uh, Titus chapter 1, verse uh, 5 to 7. And it's about, more about qualifications for elders of a church. For this cause I left thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting to ordain the elders in every city as I appointed thee. If, they, if any be blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of riot or, un, or untruly, for a bishop must be blameless as a steward of God, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, nor striker, nor given to filthy lucre. So again, we see the husband of one wife. Kind of makes a problem for the uh, celibate Catholic priests. And not only does the Catholic Church say that bishops don't have to get married, they say they're actually not allowed to get married. That is a direct contradiction to what the Bible says. And this is just one of the many examples of, of Roman Catholic uh, pagan tradition contradicting the Bible. This is just one of many examples. I mean, I could just go on and on and on about just Roman Catholics just, just cutting up the Bible, I mean, just contradicting the Bible, and then claiming, well, we gave you the Bible funny. Again, if the, if the Bible is a Catholic book, why does so many of its practices contradict the Bible? So, anyway, don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. God bless you. Goodbye.